Uh, my name is uh, Leonai Kasi Hoponoa from the uh, Kingdom of Tonga, a, a Caritas volunteer and a concerned citizen. When we talk about the community context in Tonga, it can be uh, better understood when we consider uh, the key system uh, that gave rise to the community context. To paint a more authentic picture, people would argue, oh, Tongan society is communal. But in essence, people are becoming more individualistic. And, and, and that sense of competitiveness, aggressiveness, and selfishness, um, you know, it's so obvious for one to see with naked eyes. One of the key challenges that I have uh, learn through working in various communities. Uh, my work is uh, goes beyond the boundary of Catholic Church to other denominations, to other communities. What I have discovered, the key challenge people are facing is they are struggling to go well with everyday stresses and challenges. Yeah. That's really a, a, a stood out uh, challenge that I observe. Uh, see, when people are struggling to cope in their stories, mm -hmm. the story of survival, uh, they only focus on themselves and their needs. And when they state that their view of the ecological system, especially the land and the ocean, they see them as a form of livelihood. Let me give you a simple example of that. Okay. Uh, the, use, the usage of pesticides in Tonga is really high, very, very high. Mm -hmm. It's it's very interesting uh, because uh, people are no longer using the traditional way of cleaning the weed. They use pesticides to kill the weed. And, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, and also in fisheries, um, yes, there are more uh, companies uh, uh, from overseas who are doing long line fishings in Tonga, and who knows uh, the effect of that um, in our uh, in our ocean, especially the uh, the fish. Uh, with my work in, in Tonga, you know, I, I, I always make this argument uh, that all dimensions of our life as human beings, our mind, our heart, our energy, our body, our behavior, our relationships, are created by God in our mm -hmm. faith. When we treat one in isolation, that's a recipe for disaster. So what I'm, I'm a way forward for me is to deepening your faith uh, through renew your mind and heart. The message is really simple. When mm -hmm. we try to control something we have no control at all of, we become more vulnerable and we become weaker. Let's say, for example, we're trying to control, you know, nature and, and, and contribute to nature with something we have no control at all. The only thing that we can control is human beings to increase their capabilities of and their self-management ability, how to lead well, how to manage well, and how to control well their lives. If we are able to do that and get away from survival mode, then we then see the bigger picture of life. Mm -hmm. Because when our consciousness are made right uh, and our emotions, intelligence are um, increased, and that becomes a platform where we can deepen our faith. And if those two platforms are, are, are not healthy, we become more vulnerable. Deepening our faith in the changing world is really, really critical.